Hi everybody, in this video we're going to show you how to bend objects using a very simple method. Uh, the modifier is called the deform modifier and one of the options you can do with it is bend things. So I'm going to show you how to start with a cube, let's stretch it out, uh, give it some cuts and basically bend it. You can bend it to any angle you want. Okay, so this is a very simple bending technique. So here we go. You take your cube. Now before we actually bend it, we actually need to make it a little bit longer, you know, like a bar. So I'm going to go scale S, X, and I'm going to scale it in the X. Now if I go into edit mode, you're going to see there's only a set of vertices here and a set of vertices here. There, this is pretty well nothing in the middle here. It's just straight edges. This won't be able to bend. To bend it, you need to make the mesh a little more divided so that it has places to actually bend. Uh, I'll just show you this one over here, for example. This one in edit mode, right, has a lot of spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop cut this one up. So I'm going to go into edit mode, and I'm going to go to loop cut and slide. Get the mouse over there until you got the right direction. Roll the mouse wheel. Get a lot of loop cuts in there. Click, click, and my mesh is now divided up. Back into object mode, and now let's start the bending process. Now the way the bending process works is you lay your object flat on the X and Y axis, so basically on the plane of the world, and you're going to be bending around the Z axis of some other object. So I'm going to go make another object now that's going to help me control the bend. And the simplest object to add is an object that is really not an object. It's called an empty. So an empty doesn't show up in any render. It's just sort of there to use with these modifiers like the bending. So I'm going to go empty plane axes and I'm just going to get it to the center of the world here. I'll move it out a little bit. So you'll see it's not really anything. It's just a set of axes, but it does have a name in the world. Okay, it's called, well this one's called MT001. Now all I want to do is use that to help control the bending. So I click my object, add a modifier, take the simple deform and it has a couple options twist bend taper stretch I'm gonna take bend and I need to tell it the object to help guide my bending so axis or origin and I'm gonna use that empty I just made which was empty 001 and you'll see it's already started bending the object you can set the angle here so let's say I type in 180 it bends it 180 right half a circle if you wanted the full circle 360 if you want just a part of a circle you know 45 135 you get the idea now the empty itself if you select it where you move it actually scales the object and I can actually flip it the other way if you want I don't know why I'd want to do that but anyways if you want no scaling at all just you want your object truly just bent then what you should do is you should put the center of the empty right on the center of your object okay and there'll be no scaling as you slide it out right it does the bending now things to note here because um, this isn't a hard modifier to use okay but sometimes people get confused by it if you don't set up the direction of your objects properly the one basic rule here is this you'll notice what it's bending around the Z axis the up and down it's as if I have something right there and then it's bending the object in the Y direction. And so the direction that you lay your object out in the world does matter. So you'll often see uh, when you do it is your object should be straight in the X axis. Put that empty there and then it's going to bend it. Uh, your bird's eye view, that's the way it's going to be bending it. Sort of it's pulling it right in the Y direction. Okay, that's the bend. And that's really it. Okay, so that's the basic use of the simple deform okay so it's a simple deform and you set it to bend and tell the object to sort of control the bending and what angle you want a uh, little extras here the limits this says start bending from right at one end which is zero to all the way to the other end which is one watch what happens if I don't bend all the way to the end I say go 80 percent 0.80 actually let's go a little less 0.70 only apply the bend up to 75% of the object, look what happens. It bent 70% of the object, 0 to 0 0.7, and then the remaining 
30% was not bent. And then if I did the same thing here, let's do 30% on this end. So it basically leaves 30% normal, then it bends, 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 and bends, 30%. Now, it's still bending the 180 degrees, but it's only doing it from 30% to 70% of the length of the object. It does the 180. So, you know, uh, you can practice with it. It's good for simple bending. Have fun with it when you need something bent very uh, simple, uniform way.